So it's not often I talk about super serious politics on this channel, but today's video is going to be a little bit different. So as you guys may know, recently the US election results have, you know, came out and uh, Trump won. And I'm just going to go ahead and give my take on Trump winning right now. Look, you can call me a gay liberal all you want in the comments. You can say I'm woke. You can say whatever. But there's no way you're going to argue to me that Trump is somehow a better president than Kamala Harris. I mean, first of all, the dude is almost Joe Biden's age. Like, this dude is old. Second of all, his tariffs plan is absolutely terrible. It's going to make the economy worse. Now, I'm not going to get super deep into the whole tariff thing. If you want to find out how it's going to make the economy worse, there is a lot of videos, a lot of articles you can read. I'll actually link this one up on screen in the description down below if you guys want to go check it out. But yeah, today's video is going to be more focused on how I think personally Kamala Harris lost the election and where I think she could have improved and maybe even won the election. And let's go ahead and start off with I think the most obvious thing and probably what I'm going to title the video and that is the complete waste of resources on this stupid collab, the Fortnite collab. Okay, the Freedom Road, Free Freedom Town, whatever the map was called, I don't even remember. Paid for by Harris for president. That money could have went literally anywhere else, but instead you paid for this bootlegged, pointless creative map that nobody's gonna play. But it's such a waste of resources and time. Nobody that plays Fortnite is old enough to vote anyways. I am 17 and I play Fortnite like every now and then, and I probably have to be the oldest Fortnite player on the game. Like, no, 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 seriously, in all seriousness, the, the oldest person that plays that game has to be at least like, I don't know, 17, 18, maybe 20 at most, okay? After that, they find something else to play or they just go do something else, okay? Most people that play Fortnite aren't old enough to vote. It's just that simple. And people that do play Fortnite that are old enough to vote, they probably aren't gonna be won over by like a Fortnite creative map that in all honesty looks like complete dog shit. Like, what do you mean fight for freedom? Like, what am I fighting against? It looks like a parkour map. And here's the thing, what irritates me so much is that this money, th these resources, this time, okay, it could have been spent literally anywhere else. Okay, uh, maybe instead of a Fortnite collab, how about this, Kamala Harris? Okay, how about this, Harris campaign? How about reaching out to older voters? How about trying to reach out to the conservative audience, okay? How about reach out to them trying to explain that Donald Trump's plan is going to ruin our economy and your plan is going to benefit them more than Trump's plan? You could have done something like that. I think that would have been cool, right? But no, instead you wasted time and resources on a stupid creative Fortnite collab, which by the way, when I opened up Fortnite trying to find this map, I could not even find it. It's like, I don't know if Fortnite's like, you know, weird lobby algorithm thing is just bugging. But when I loaded up the game, I could not find the map whatsoever. So it was a complete failure. And you know what, just to hammer at home, I'm actually going to load onto Fortnite real quick and let's see if I can find this map, okay? Like, because if I remember correctly, Fortnite's like map sorting algorithm with their lobby it should be like prioritizing the most popular maps and like what you play so let's see if Kamala Harris's uh Fortnite collab map shows up if it's still in the game all right so we're loading in Fortnite okay hang on okay so we got Lego Fortnite Valhalla okay where's uh and where, where where's the Kamala Harris collab where is it I'm um, look I'm looking at the popular tab where is it okay I mean like we got favorites uh, I'm not finding anything. Uh, recently played. Hang on for you. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm just. I'm not really featured. I mean, like, I'm not really seeing anything, guys. Let me know if I miss anything. You know, there's like a hundred games, so maybe I'm missing it. But I don't know. I'm just. I'm not really seeing the uh, Freedom Town. Uh, where is it? Yeah, I'm. I'm not seeing anything. Like this was a completely complete waste of time. I mean, look, guys. I understand that there were other parts to play in the election and how the results came out, but guys, this like this. I'm like I'm not gonna lie to y'all. This was a pretty big, you know. Uh, this was a pretty big mess up on Kamala's part. This was just a complete waste of time, a complete waste of money, a complete just 
waste, okay? There was no reason to do this. And you know, I just remembered this while I was recording this video. Tim Walls and AOC literally did a Twitch stream playing games, okay? I see, like, they're playing Madden right now uh, as I'm watching this video, but like, you guys already had the Gen Z voters in the bag. You guys already had the Gen Z voters. Why did you need to do the Fortnite thing? Now look, guys, I'm not sure if they did the stream before or after the Fortnite collab, but obviously there's planning behind these things like you know this isn't just a like spontaneous on the spot decision like oh let's do this and then they instantly go do it like it takes a few days of planning i'd assume at the very least so like if they had this stream planned why would they need to do a fortnite collab right because like i said the collab with fortnite you know, I think this actually would have been better on its own. Like, just do the gaming stream on its own. Like, no Fortnite, no anything, just do this. Like, this would have been enough. And then use the resources that you used on the Fortnite thing, or were going to plan to use on the Fortnite thing, and use it elsewhere. There would have been, like, a hundred different better applications for those resources than a Fortnite creative map. And here's the thing that really frustrates me, is that I saw a lot of people in Gen Z for a while now complain that the only two options we had as presidents in this country were a felon that is old and probably has dementia versus a person that is also extremely old and probably has dementia and should most likely be in a retirement home, which is a valid complaint, by the way. So when Kamala Harris showed up, you know, Gen Z voters or like people that were in Gen Z, they were excited. You know what I mean? They were really happy to see another option that seemed, you know, mentally there, that seemed mentally sane. And I really think that that the biggest screw up with the Harris campaign was the fact that they leaned way too hard trying to get the Gen Z vote when they already had the Gen Z vote. I think they should have went and tried to, you know, branch out to different audiences and try to get their vote too. Because really, there's only so much Gen Z people in this country versus, you know, the many other generations. You know, you've got, I think there's still some people in the silent generation, boomers, millennials, Gen X, you know, there's a lot of other generations that I feel the Harris campaign didn't do a good enough job of appealing to. And I really do feel that that's one of the bigger reasons that the Harris campaign failed in this election. But that's just my own personal opinion. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Be sure to check out the Discord server link in description. You know, guys, I just got to say something real quick. First of all, thank you guys so much for 3000 subs. We recently hit 3000 subs on the channel. And uh, I, I am just, you know, I, I'm still like trying to process it. It's actually crazy. And also thank you guys so much for joining the Discord server. I I've seen a lot of people join the Discord server recently. And yeah, I just want to say big shout outs to you guys. Big shout outs to the people on the Discord server. And just thank you guys so much for 3,000 subscribers and, you know, just all the support recently. It means a lot. And yeah, if you guys want to check out the Discord server, the link is in the description. I always ping it whenever I go live or upload a video since YouTube notifications can be a bit buggy at times. So yeah, if that sounds of interest to you, then be sure to check out the Discord. Anyways, as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.